Welcome everybody to Friendship Moments of Friendship Baptist Church, Killing, Alabama. We're going to slide around this Bible a little bit today. And if you all will forgive me, I get a little tore up sometimes when I speak about the Lord. We're going to start in 1 John, number 1. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God. In the beginning, in Genesis, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Number two, God said, let there be light, and there was light. And he said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament, and he divided the waters which were under the wind. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were second day. God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto place and let this dry land appear and it was so and God said let there be light in the firmament and of the heaven divide the day from the night and he let them be for signs and for season for days and for years let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creatures in law hath life. And fowl that may be fly above the earth and open the firmament of heaven. And God created great whales and every living creature that moveth which waters brought forth abundantly, and then after their kind and every winged animal, therefore. And God said, let the earth bring forth the living creatures, and after his kind, cattle, creeping things, beasts of the earth, after his kind. And that was so. And God said, let us make men in our image. And he said, our image. That's the Lord and Jesus and the Spirit. On the seventh day, he rested and made it a holy day. God is all-powerful. Now we're going to get to my favorite, favorite verse. It's the 23rd Psalm, but you have to read it in pieces. The first three words really bring the total movement of our God. And he says, the Lord is. He says, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He restoreth our soul. He maketh me lie down beside the still waters. He Restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yes, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because thou shalt be with me. My rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou 
prepares the table before me in the presence of mine enemies, thou <clears throat> adorn me my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Now we're going to talk to, uh, in Mark 16, 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel in every creature. He that below, <clears throat> excuse me, believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs that follow them that believe in my name, they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. And they shall take up serpents, and if they, if they <clears throat> drink any deadly thing, it shall not hunt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. All this is the second part of Jesus and God. God is all-powerful. Jesus is all-powerful. And the Spirit is all-powerful. Let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you again for this blessed day and all the many blessings that you give us that are known and unknown. Many that we appreciate and some that we don't even know about. Because you bless us every day with many, many blessings. All this we need to thank you for. And we thank you so much. All this we ask in precious Jesus' name. Amen.